Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the start of a brand new series over here on Coloro to Newville. My name is Coloro to Newville, as obvious, and this is Heavy Rain. This game is one of the first games, to my knowledge, that David Cage wrote and uh, directed for Quantic Dreams. So you know what? Well, we're just going to enjoy the story. It's supposed to be very immersive. I've only ever played the first few chapters of it. To interact, make the indicated move with the right stick. So up on the right stick. <clears throat> Try to do it slowly to see how you control the animation speed. Hold R2 to the walk, left stick to change direction. So I believe L2 makes it so that you can hear their thoughts. Gone shopping. I'll pick the kids up from school at lunchtime, and then I'll come home to get things ready for Jason's birthday party. Don't work too hard. I love you. Thanks, Grace. I appreciate that. We need to go take a shower. At any time, you can listen to what your character thinks by pressing and holding down L2. I better take a shower and get dressed before I go downstairs. Right, I think that this is the bathroom. Mm hmm. Left stick, come on, there you go. Oh boy. Thank God PlayStation has an editing software so I can censor that. And you get a little bit of workout as well. Time to go get dressed. So we need to go in here. I want to change camera angles. Okay, I like this camera angle better, to be honest. But David Cage is known for writing games like Heavy Rain, uh, Beyond Two Souls, Detroit Become Human. Those are the um, more mainstream ones. Like, there were a couple that he wrote before this one, and I can't really remember the names of them. Personally, for me, I'm not a big David Cage fan. Um, I think that his writing lacks some depth through uh, to it. But, you know, people have their own taste. I mean, this game has a good concept or a, a good story to it. Hey, the little guy. Okay, we're walking to a wall now. Is this the uh, same outfit that he wears every time, or does he choose like different ones like each time you play through the game? I can't remember. The character's thought and it changed the, with the situation. Remember to check them regularly. Garden, work. I've got some time before Grace and the kids get back. Better get some work done. Um. Okay, so there's an RC car remote. That's the way to the garden. I think we'd go through here to get to his office. Yeah, this is his office. Okay. So we're going to do that. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, okay, so he actually, like... He can actually, like, control, like, how fast he draws the lines. That's kind of cool. For actions requiring timing and precision, press the indicated button as soon as it appears. So quick time events, okay. So triangle. Circle. Square. How is this man, like, drawing all this this quickly?
Okay, I don't buy that. When this type of symbol appears, unfold the movement slowly with the right stick. Okay. So we have to hold this down, L1. looking very generic so far. What else can, is it like a signature now? Yeah. The plans are coming along nicely. Should be finished by Monday. I mean, they look perfectly done to me right now. Um, okay. So we finished work. Happy birthday, Jason. I get the feeling that's copyrighted. I hope not. Let's drive the little RC car for a little bit. I mean, we got nothing else to do until they get back. Can we go out to the backyard for a little bit? Uh, we can, but there's nothing to do out here right now. Is that TV just small or really far away? I can't tell. Oh, okay, no, it was just really small. Is that a car? Finished. Now I can relax and seize the day. Carpe diem! Sorry, Dead Poet Society reference. Well, I mean, Carpe Diem is actually Latin, so technically it's a Latin reference, but I'm going to say it's Dead Poets Society reference, because that's a good movie. Oh, hey, now they're here. Right? Could you guys get here already? I kind of want to continue with the story. I mean, I've done everything that I need to. If you're going to walk outside, then why would you just walk back in? I mean, the, the... Ethan, why do you do this to me? Um, 
You know what, why don't we go back upstairs and look at that bird again? Because honestly, I'm running out of idea. Actually, what's this? Creative architecture. Well, you know what? This is a nice house and all, but this isn't the only thing that I want to be staring at for an hour to an hour and a half. Can't look at the bird again. Can we take another shower? I could go for a cup of coffee. I guess we'll shave then. Ah, uh, you got stubble up by uh, your sideburns, my dude. I mean, you can't do that. That's just lazy. Come on. Am I gonna have to do this for two minutes? Wait, how did I teleport down there so quickly? Wait, what? Dad! Oh, hey, Dad! take it easy, you're gonna knock me over. Uh, so this is your big day, huh? Am I grown up now? Hmm, 10 years old, that's not exactly grown up, but you're getting there. Now, can I drive your car? And I think you're gonna have to wait um, a while for that. Yeah. Ethan, <laughs> can you please help me? I'm coming. So, sold these down. Riveting gameplay so far. Uh, they've been so excited since this morning. I could hardly keep them in line in the supermarket. How's your day? Been? Managed to get any work done? I made some pretty good progress. I've just got to work on a few more details, and then I should be ready to present the plan to the client. Ugh, I've got a billion things to do. It'll never be ready before Jason's pals arrive. Can you please help me? Uh, there should be plates in the living room cupboard. No problem, leave it to me. Alright then, so... That door is always sticking. Give it a big tug. <clears throat> Come on, there you go. Responsible for a diplomatic incident with your mother. Okay, so we don't have to go entirely slow, just slow enough that it's readable to the game that's going slow. Does that make sense? No? Okay. Maybe to me it does. I'm thirsty. Should be some orange juice in the fridge. Okay, looks like we're gonna get some orange juice then. Come on. There you go, Ethan. Oh, you're gonna drink it straight out of the carton, my dude? Come on. <laughs> oh, 
Although they do have a whole gallon and a half of orange juice. Who needs that much OJ? Hello there. Ethan. I don't know if I've already told you this today, Mrs. Mars. But I find you very attractive. You're not so bad yourself, Mr. Mars. Oh, the animation's so weird. No. Are you sure we can make time? We'll continue this little conversation later. What's her name again? Grace? Can I do anything to help? No thanks. I should be able to manage. Grace, come on. Did you find the present for Jason? Yeah, I uh, picked it up from the store this morning. Oh, we were lucky. It was the last one in stock. What you get Jason? Is it another RC car? Did you get him a PlayStation? <laughs> Shameless advertising. Hello, boys. That's it. I'm free as a bird. Hey, five minutes, boys, okay? After that, we've got to eat because your friends are going to be here okay, soon. Okay, we promise, Mom. <sighs> Who wants to go first? Me first. No, me, me first. first. Easy, fellas. We can both have a turn. Sorry, Sean. Jason has to go first right, because Jason, he's the birthday boy. Oh god, I'm getting dizzy just watching these kids. It's my turn now, it's my turn. Yes, yeah, okay, selfish. Let the birthday boy have his turn. Okay, Sean, get ready. Here we go. We Oh god, this is like one of those like old-fashioned like racing games where like you feel like that you can turn harder if like you turn the controller. Okay, you both had it like 10 seconds. There you go. Yeah, I'd never be able to do this if I was a dad. <laughs> At least the thing with the arms. Helicopter and the uh, airplane I'd be fine with. Oh, I'm gonna be great at this. I've played The Witcher. Come on, that freaking Vesemir taught you better than this. Let's go. <laughs> oh, that's gonna leave a mark, he says. Some of the writing, a lot of the writing in this is cringy, but it's funny. that animation on the hand like he dropped the sword before he dropped it like the Stop. sword was on the ground before he dropped Lunch it ready. I'll go get him all right time to go back upstairs Come back to life. No, Sean. 
are some things which just have to happen. Even if you don't want them to. It's not fair, Dad. It's not fair. You know what, Sean? Now we'll get you a bird. Uh, a bird? No, I mean a dog. Wow, I just had like a freaking brain bar for a second. Why are you wearing a long sleeve shirt in what I presume to be the middle of summer? And how are there so few people in the mall? Okay, we're gonna have to turn that music down because can't really hear the uh, the voices. So we're gonna turn the music down to a good 90. That's still pretty loud. Jason, where are you going? Jason? Jason! Jason! Come on, Jason. Don't you defy your father, don't get back here. Jason! 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 Boy, I have called you like five times. Jason, Jason get back here. I will, mm, I will kick you. Jason, what are you, what are you doing? Come here. Jason, you really that dude just walked run through run my head. You no, know? there's an awful lot of people in here. Please, Dad, can I have one? I would really love to have one. Please, Dad, come on. Okay. Let's go I really it. love to have one. It's a balloon. Great. Hey, champ. What's your name? Jason. Which balloon would you like, Jason? Uh, the red one. There you go. That'll be two dollars, sir. Jason, wait for me. Wait for your dad, son. It's really crowded in here. I think it's in his back left pocket. Keep the change. Yeah, there you go. <sighs> it is impossible to try on a pair of shoes with this crowd. Where's Jason? He was here a second ago. I bought him a balloon and I turned around and he just disappeared. Disappeared? What do you mean disappeared? Stay here. I'll what does here. it sound like, lady? He freaking walked off. He's a kid. Come on, walk. There you go. Jason! 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 Oh, there's the red balloon. Wait, where, where the red where the red balloon go? There's a yellow. Oh, there it is. Oh, uh. Jason. Jason. Uh. There's no real camera control in this game, so I can't really see. Jason! Uh. Jason! Crap, Jason! I can't see any red balloons. 
That dude just called me a booty hole. That's not nice of him. Come on, turn around. Oh, he's over that way. The red balloon icon should make it easier to spot, Jason. God, you really are. Jason! Oh boy. Jason, why would you walk out of the freaking mall without your parents? Jason, why would you walk out of the mall without your parents? Shit! Jason. I'm blaming that all on Jason. I mean, that was 100% Jason's fault. Children, don't you ever walk out of a mall without your parents because something like this will happen no i'm just kidding something probably won't like uh, like this probably won't happen but seriously stay with your parents sony computer entertainment a quantic dream production Pascal Langdell. Jackie, uh, J Jackie Ainsley. <laughs> Sam Douglas. Leon Arkenden. Is that how you pronounce his name? I don't know. Heavy rain. Trademark. Aureli ba ba Basilon. Mike Powers. Executive producer Gu Guillaume de Fadamir. I don't know. Producer Charles C Cotier. CEE producer Scott Johnson, sets designer theory. theory. People spell theory like that? Huh, okay. Animation manager. Yo, that animation manager need, <laughs> needs a freaking upgrade, my dude. John Charles Perry, Perrier, engine manager Ronan, uh, some uh, tools manager Damien Castle Castle Tort, script manager Sophie Bull. Wow, there's a lot. Uh, why does there have to be so many opening credits? Like, come on, we like list the main actors, uh, say the title of the game, fade to black, and then fade back into the next scene. Like, come on, it's not that hard. I mean, everybody's gonna get their credits at the end of the game, the end credits, even though that most people don't watch them, but still. Two years later, we are still Ethan March. March? Mars. Assistant Director Steven, okay. Gameplay Manager Caroline Marshall. Markle? Marshall? Hi, Sean. 
my dad. Ah, <sighs> Sean. Sean, Sean, Sean. What are we gonna do with you? Meant to do that. Hey, Sean, how you doing? How was school, kiddo? All right, just totally brush off the question. That's fine too. Didn't want to talk anyway. Written and directed by David Cage, the man, the myth, the legend. Although I may not uh, really care for David Cage games, you know, he does have quite an impressive resume. I mean, he writes a lot of successful games. I mean... If he just really took the time to like flesh out the uh, plot holes in his scripts, then he could be really successful. I just don't think that it's something that he really thinks about, in my opinion. I feel like just sending Sean up uh, without dinner. Okay, so 4.30, it's past 4.30, so we need to get this boy a snack. It's time for your snack. Are you hungry? I guess, uh, a little. Let's see what we can find in the kitchen. All right, kid. Well, you're getting a freaking apple. Okay. Or you don't have to reach over the couch to Here's grab your, it. Here's your snack. Thanks, Dad. Pirates spelled wrong. All right, so uh, what are some topics that I am talk gonna be talking about while we wait for the next part of the game um so oh, okay just leave that apple core on the couch no that's nice no seriously thanks for that um so spider-man comes out next month i'm definitely gonna be playing that i may get a night of release i don't know depending on when i get paid um i also recently just got like an actual job 11 bucks an hour uh, yeah, so starting Friday, gonna be uploading a little less frequently, but eh, price of getting paid to bring you guys new content, I guess. You know what? I'm gonna turn you off. Can't turn it off. Great, never mind then. Can I go to the bathroom? I can. That's not where I wanted to go. Man, we can't freaking take a leak in the toilet. That sucks. This game isn't realistic enough. Now, I want to see something real quick. Because later in this chapter, Sean's going to go to bed and he's going to want his teddy bear. Okay, that's a freaking cabinet. Okay, uh, at least it's spawning there. I was about to say, if it doesn't spawn there, then why? <sighs> um, okay. 
You know what, Sean? Get up. You're doing your Sean, homework. You want to do your homework now? Please, Dad. Let me watch TV a little while longer. We'll do it later, okay? I think you should just get right to it. Then it's done and out of the way. Now get your bag and get set up in the kitchen. I'll help you. Yeah, you see, I mean, I. Whenever I was in school, I would always play video games first and then do my homework last. And as you can see, I only did well in my junior and senior year. So maybe if I had done my homework first, then I could have done well. I don't know. Maybe, maybe not. Listen, TV's going to be there when you're done. Just be a little patient. But yeah, Spider-Man, it's gonna. Be, it looks like it's gonna be a great game. Hopefully, it is. Like, hopefully, it's not like the last couple of Spider-Man games that we've had come out. I'm not gonna necessarily count the Lego Marvel superhero games because they don't really technically count as like standalone Spider-Man games. But Amazing Spider-Man One and Two, Amazing Spider-Man uh, movie tie-in game was actually pretty all right. Like, I enjoyed the storyline for the most part. Finished. Can I go watch TV? Child, I was in the middle of saying something. Let me have a look. Pretty good. Looks like you're done. <laughs> Off you go. Anyway, before I was so rudely interrupted, Sean, the tie-in Spider-Man, uh, the first Amazing Spider-Man tie-in game wasn't that bad. It definitely wasn't. Could have used some gameplay polishing, but Storyline wasn't bad. Nolan North did a really good job as, uh, what, what's his name? Uh, Alistair something? Doctor, uh, it was Dr. Alistair something. Sinclair, I think his name was. Alistair Sinclair. Yeah, that sounds like it would be it. Uh, I never played The Amazing Spider-Man 2, but I hear it was pretty bad. So, that sucks. So hopefully Insomniac, uh, does a good job with, uh, the, uh, Spider-Man exclusive for PS4. So, oh, you want to talk a little? Talk about what? I don't know about you, your friends. How things are going? Nothing special. You know what, Sean? I'm about to freaking send you to bed without your meal, my dude. You are being rather rude, and I don't appreciate it. Do you want me to get your dinner? No, thanks. I'm not hungry yet. Oh, okay. No, you're snapping. Okay. God, is this what like is this what being a father's like? Boy, if you don't get up, I will make you eat your dinner. You know what? I'm just going to get his dinner on a plate and get it for him anyway. That's not what I wanted, but I guess we're freaking drinking some more OJ. I mean, Ethan is living by himself now, so I guess he can do whatever he wants with his OJ. And apparently it's 100% pulp and all. Listen, kid. Listen. It's a quarter to seven. Oh yeah, I'm really hungry. Okay, I'll go see what I can find. I'll call you when it's ready. And you know what? Just because you've been so rude to me tonight, I'm not even gonna give you the pizza. I'm gonna give you freaking chicken. It's not even the good kind of chicken. No, it's roasted chicken. Not baked, not broiled. Wait. No, I said roasted chicken on the package. It's not baked, it's not broiled, it's not even fried. No. 
it's freaking roasted. And you're probably going to give this kid salmonella for how short you microwaved this. You can come now, Sean. Your meal is ready. I'm coming! You see, I would make fun of how the carrots and veggies look, the carrots and potatoes. But you know what? This game came out in 2009. Uh, graphics weren't that polished then. I'll make a pass for it. I'll let it have a pass. Kid, just don't eat it all in one. Like, don't don't eat it like in five minutes, all right? Because you gotta go to bed in like 55 minutes. Just savor it. Just eat it until you have to go to bed, all right? Ethan, would you stop staring at your son? Do something. Wait, I'm sitting down. I, this is an this is an interactive drama. I have to be the one that's moving him to do stuff. Um, boy, you didn't take one bite off that plate. You better freaking sit down and eat that. No, what are you doing? Ethan's just done with this boy. He's just like, excuse me. Boy, you best get back to the kitchen and finish your meal. Hey, I spent a solid 20 seconds cooking that. That was some quality roasted chicken. You're not even gonna eat it all? I'm disappointed. Uh, boy, what are, what are you doing? You've got a cold coming on. I'm gonna see if I can find some medicine for you. Okay, it looks like we're gonna go fetch this kid some cough medicine, which was the bane of my existence when I was a kid. Now you see, it would make sense to me for the cold medicine to be in the upstairs bathroom in the medicine cabinet. Oh hey, the, you know what, this is actually a, a... Here, take this. It'll make you feel better. Thanks, Dad. Hey, um, that's seven forty-five. You know what? We're just gonna sit here and stare at the clock. Riveting gameplay, I know. Close enough. All right, Sean, get up and go to bed. Go to bed. Come on, Sean. Time for bed. I'm not tired yet. Can I stay up a little longer? <sighs> no. Well, that's not very reasonable, is it? You have school tomorrow. You have to get some sleep. All right, I'm going. Are you coming with me? Go brush your teeth and put on your pajamas. I'll come up. Let me go your, get your frickin' teddy bear.
Oh god, I feel a sneeze coming on. <laughs> okay, wow. Okay, listen here, bucko. I got your freaking teddy bear. Now get into bed and you're going to sleep. I'll freaking stand in the room like I'm Slenderman. Come on. You done being grumpy now? Thanks, Dad. Good night, Sean. Night. Dad? Yeah? Why do you look so sad? I think I just need some time. To get back to the way things were. We you know, Dad, what happened to Jason wasn't your fault. Good night, Sean. Can a kid even comprehend, like, how a dad would be feeling in a time like that? Like, Jason is like, what, 10? 11? Somewhere in, that uh, somewhere in that range of possibility. But, is he even old enough, like, to comprehend truly, like, how a father would feel, like, like, if his, one of his only two kids, like, died in an accident, like, I don't know. Uh-oh. Ethan? Did Ethan teleport here? Origami. Do I walk? Okay, yeah, okay, apparently I walk. See, I walk a lonely road, the only one that I have ever known. Don't know where it goes, but I'm the only one and I walk alone. And now we are introduced to the second character of the game, Scott Shelby. Tuesday, 12.06 a.m., er, 0.72 inches. Can't say it does. Oh, that Lauren was Third floor, last door on the left at the end of the corridor. All right, so that's where I'm going to leave this episode of Heavy Rain off for now. I hope you guys did enjoy this. I know I'm cutting it off at a little bit of like a little bit of a cliffhanger because we're starting to get into a little bit of an investigation. But we're going to have to wait till the next episode. Until then, my name is Coloro Tanuvial, and I hope you did enjoy this episode of Heavy Rain. Here's to a great new series. Take care.